Accompanied by the EU Member of Parliament, Chris Sulu Zakaro Pulu, the Secretary General in the International Organization of La Francophonie, Louise Mshikiwabo, oversaw the vaccination process of some hospital staff at the King Faisal Hospital. She later toured the hospital in various areas, including high quality medical facilities. Madame Louise Mshikiwabo praised the progress of the vaccination program and said that the OIF members should show solidarity with countries. En cette période compliquée, uh, sur le plan sanitaire, sur le plan économique. In these extraordinary times, both in terms of health and economics, we all need each other, and that is why this international partnership needs to be manifested. We are not getting to the end of the road because there is so much to do. So it is important to speed up the process of vaccination and give it a say in both the social and economic life of the countries so that all can go back to normal lives. We started in Rwanda and we will continue to do so in other countries. What we have seen is that the sequence of all the activities has been well taken care of, both in its planning and in terms of technology. Yesterday we saw it at the center, the Sante in Mayange. Today we saw it at King Faisal Hospital. There is good planning, which is also important, which we have also been able to see and appreciate. The Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the Rwanda Biomedical Center, have stepped up their efforts to protect thousands from the COVID-19 and especially those who are most at risk. At various sites in Kigali, doctors and nurses are in full gear vaccinating people, including the staff of Rwanda and others. It is an activity that employees have appreciated. <laughs> I feel it will help us better in the workplace, especially in our day-to-day -day work with so many people from different countries. And I feel at least this gives us the confidence to do well and feel that we are not afraid of anything. Vaccination will also improve our Rwanda air functioning and operation uh, with uh, issuing hopefully of the travel documents afterwards, proving of our vaccination. Our operation will be much smoother and easier. We'll be able to access many more countries with very low risk of bringing or contaminating population while during our uh, work and our operations. Many others who got the vaccine appreciated the fact that their normal life could slowly start going back to normal. It will help me because I have hypertension and asthma and thus it will protect me from getting the disease or it affecting me in a bad way. I am grateful. The vaccine is going to help me stay alive and now that I'm healthy, it will give me strength to keep living. According to Dr. Rivasira, an employee at the RBC, no one should be left behind. This is the first phase of the vaccines and traders should make time for this because it will protect them. They can close shop for one hour and join us here. The Ministry of Health has announced that it will continue to protect people from all walks of life who are vulnerable to COVID-19. More than 4,668 people were vaccinated at more than four sites in Kigali this Monday.